Here's a thought. As William kissed his father, touched the crown, promised to be his liege man of life and limb, one of the first things he ought to do is reach out to his brother, Prince Harry, and forgive him. It's quite clear the king wants reconciliation. Uh, the king apparently in the after-coronation party, to which Harry did not um, uh, want to go. Uh, Harry was already on board a plane on the way back to Los Angeles to see his son Archie and celebrate his fourth birthday. The king acknowledged Archie's birthday, wished him happy birthday at that party, apparently, and Prince Harry wasn't there to hear it. I think the onus is now on Prince William, the Prince of Wales, to be his father's liege man of life and limb and to do his father's bidding and to, if necessary, hop on a plane, go over to Los Angeles and sort things out. This has gone on too long, and it has to stop. Uh, the king talks about his two darling boys, and he was uh, on camera uh, at the coronation, uh, seen mouthing, thank you, William. He should have been saying, thank you, William, thank you, Harry. It's all gone very wrong. It can be sorted out very quickly. I think, with a ticket to Los Angeles. That's my recommendation. Anyway, just a thought which goes through this mind. Bay's been egging me on to do this.